Hello everyone, this is the sixth lecture and today we will learn about loops in Perl. Let us begin with while loop. If you observe the flowchart of a while loop, it will look something like this. Here you declare a variable, put the condition and in go inside the loop, it, it satisfies the condition and then keep on looping as long as you satisfy the condition. So while loop will actually repeatedly execute a target statement as long as given condition is true. Let us say you declare a variable with a value of 10. Then the syntax of while loop will be something like this. While a is lesser than 20, you keep on performing a specific task. Let's say you want to print the value and you increment the value and close the loop. So it will keep on executing as long as this condition is satisfied. That is, as long as A is lesser than 20, this value will keep on incrementing and it will keep on printing it. Let's move on to for loop. The flowchart of for loop and while loop is exactly the same. Only difference is in the way you write the for loop. So it executes a sequence of statements multiple times and abbreviates the code that manages the code loop variable. So this is how we write the for loop. For a is equal to 10, a is lesser than 20 and you keep on incrementing all the conditions you have put in the same line and then you will satisfy the body of the loop. So here it will keep on doing the same task which it was doing in the while loop. The only difference we find here is the way we write the for loop. Let's move on to one more example for the for loop. Let us say you have an array of names with different names stored in it. We refer to each of element of array with the index of the element. Now let us see how to loop over such array using the for loop. Let us first declare the array with all the names. We have seen it in our previous videos too how to declare such arrays. Now to get the size of the array we just have to assign the array to a scalar variable and it will store the size of the array. Note that this shortcut comes very handy while writing the programs. Now let us see how to declare the for loop. So for i is equal to 0, i lesser than size and i is equal to i plus 1. This is how you will declare the array where i will be nothing but going to be the index of the array and it will keep on incrementing as long as it will be lesser than size of array. Now print names of i. So here names is your name array and of i means it will keep on referencing to the index after every execution it will increment it. So it will be initially 0 names of 0 will be Raghav it will print Raghav here and then it will increment to 1 and it will become 1. So names of 1 will be Yogita then names of 2 after execution of this statement. So it will become Ankit so it will print Ankit in next and as long as it is lesser than the size, it will keep on doing it. Now, this is how we declare the for loop. Let's move on to until loop. Until loop is nothing but the opposite of while loop. In while loop, it will keep on executing as long as this condition is true. But in until loop, it will keep on executing as long as this condition is false. So it repeatedly executes a statement as long as given condition is false. Let's say you have a variable 5. So if this variable is greater than 10, this is your condition. If it is greater than 10, then it will exit out. But if it is false, it will enter inside. 5 is greater than 10? No. So it is false. It will enter inside and it will print this value of a and it will increment. Then it will become 6. 6 is greater than 10? No. It is again false. It will go inside, print the value with increment. So it will become 6 and then it will increment it. It will become 7. 7 is greater than 10. It will do keep on doing it. And it, when it reaches the value of 10, 10 is greater than 10, no, it will again print it. And when it becomes 11 is greater than 10, it is true. So it will exit out. So the output of this piece of code will be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. This is how we declare until loop. Now let's move on to for each loop. For each loop is nothing but it will iterate over array by referencing the values directly instead of referencing the index of the array. This was our previous example where we used the for loop and to access these values we use the indices. But in for each loop you don't need these indices. You can refer to each value by using some variable itself. So let's see one example here. For each let's say our variable is employee and this is your array name. So it will iterate over this array with this value with this variable directly. So when you print the name of employee and use this variable employee, so it will go and it will parse this array. It will keep on printing this as long as the size completes. So this is how it will work. It will first take the value employee as this variable Raghav and then it will go to Yogita. So name of employee will be first Raghav, then next line name of employee will be Yogita and it will keep on doing it. 
So this is how for each loop will work. That's all for this video. We will give some real life examples in our subsequent videos. Please do share it with your friends and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.